Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Superdance National League. dancing league for all age groups which is family orientated and involves directly the schools and the school principals. Do you agree with that Derek? I agree yes, the thing is it's bringing together schools from our areas that we dance against one another hopefully in a, you know, a friendly atmosphere we all meet together and compete against one another in the national finals. So basically that's how it started and this is how basically it's... How it's grown. It's it did start off years ago with a, a little bit like football, home and away, and what we did was we danced against um, the other teams in our area, and then we did a, an away match then to the other teams, and that went on for possibly 10 15 know, 15 years, years. Yeah, 15 yeah. years. Um, and then after that, it started to get bigger and bigger. And it's it? grown yeah. over yeah. the years from quite small yeah. to um, massive. We probably yeah. had, well, we certainly wouldn't have had more than four or 500 people for the first Not finals the no, no, in the, Brentwood. That's right. And now we have uh, 1,400. Originally, um, Superdance were approached by the two school principals who wanted to form the Superdance League and they approached Barry Free to see if he would be interested in lending his name to it and giving some sponsorship and in those early days it was very very necessary and the league would not have survived throughout all these years without his help and we're still very very grateful for the help that Barry Free and Superdance give to the Superdance National League. And now of course the name Superdance is synonymous with dance shoes anyway, so you know, Barry is actually selling his dance shoes all over the world, and of course people now relate the dancing shoes themselves to the actual competitions. We obviously cater for all standards and all grades, so we have divisions. We have a Division 1, a Division 2. If there's enough participants, we can have a Division 3. We started off with um, junior teams and adult teams, that was in the early days. And then as the years have gone by, we've added on the age groups until now we've introduced a few years ago the juveniles, which is 12 years and under. We have under 8 years, under 12 years, under 16, under 35 and uh, no, over 35. 35. Yeah. No limit. We do have 80 year olds. <laughs> yeah, dancing and yeah, yeah. the over 60s. Aren't yeah, we? we do. Yeah. 
We have got quite big in the in the dancing calendar now, so people yeah. are actually, you know, looking forward to, to coming in and being yeah. asked to adjudicate. So. And they enjoy the work because of the uh, friendly atmosphere of the event. Crowd participation is naturally developed through the um, comradeship of the dance schools. Each dance school in this league is a family unit, whether it be big or small. So the natural enthusiasm is generated from the school principals, through the pupils and into the families. It's so like a lot of supporters really, it's just that what they do is they try to raise the people's dancing by cheering for them and getting behind them so they know when they're dancing somebody's behind them supporting them and that sort of makes them dance even better, a bit like some of the other sports that we have. have room for people to come in if they want to come in. I mean, we have some new schools this time. Yeah. Um, in the north, we've had the same number of schools now uh, for a while, but we're, we're trying to encourage some more people to come in. Uh, I think next year we've heard that one school is from the, from the north coming in. Um, yeah, and we've got one from the south. Got well. We've got one right. we'll bring another yeah. hundred next year. If you wanted to get involved in the Super Dance League, you would need to find a dance school that participates. And you could only do that really either by phoning head office, which would be Super Dance um, itself, and they would put you onto the secretaries, or you could phone your local schools and ask them if they do participate. And if they don't, you could then um, ask them if they could recommend anybody who does. A winning team. What makes a winning team. Yeah, I mean the thing is really you should be dancing in, in the teams to enjoy yourself and do as well as you can because there can only be one winner at the end of the day. Um, and obviously what you do is you're looking up to some of the bigger schools who've got uh, bigger and better competitors and you try and dance yeah. up to them and try to, to beat them or you know yeah, it's, it's going really to play called out. like a rub off yeah. effect. Yeah. Yeah. When you go yeah. up against somebody who's better than you, they're their dance style rubs off on you quite naturally because you're with them. So everybody progresses. So the top need to continue their development and all the others see that development and they emulate them. Yeah, yeah every the year the standard gets yeah. higher.
I would like to thank you all on behalf of the Superdance National League for coming along and supporting us this year. We look forward to next year when it will be our silver anniversary. Thank you and safe journeys. Thank you.